All right, ladies and gentlemen. My metal detector is acting up a little bit right now. Um, <clears throat> but we are out here. I'm actually going to shut it off for right now. And I will ground balance it. Oakley, come on. So that's puppy out here. We're doing a little bit of metal detecting. So let me point you guys up here. Um, so we're going to go up this little ravine gully thing and kind of mess around um, up on the tops of these hills uh, for a little bit this morning. And then we're going to go back to doing some dry washing. So um, there's going to be plenty of video of uh, me running the metal detector. Um, I just got to get it ground balanced, get everything set up, and then um, we will get started here, guys. So I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Oh, Clay, come on. We got the puppy out here. The cute little puppy. It's an old 12 gauge, back of a 12 gauge a primer. That's all we have found so far. So, I'll get back with you guys. I mean, we found something. So, we will, we will see. We're almost to the top, as you can see. We're almost to the top, and then we're gonna run on the tops of this uh, mountaintop for a minute or two, and then we're gonna go to where there's some old foundations. So, I'll be back with you guys. We're getting a hit right here. So let's get a little shovel out. Dig it up some. Hit it with a pin pointer. I'm not getting any hits on the pinpointer. you look at that it's like an old old light round or something like an old 22 shot that's what that looks like an old 22 bullet that we just found so let's put this back in the back pocket put the shovel in the pocket and all right that's it guys all right, we got another hit right, right around there. small piece of metal. 
very, very small piece of metal here. So let's run the metal detector over it real quick. Yep, and that's it guys. Small piece of metal, that was it. Well guys, we just found a 22 um, shell casing to go with the two 22 rounds that I found. Um, so we're gonna be heading back here to um, the truck um, to go to the next spot um, by some old foundations that are out here. So I'll be back with you. Um, Somebody left their truck out here. Just a little bit. It's been out here for a little bit. Oh, there's more parts to it, I think. I don't know. But, all right guys, I'm going to uh, go back to the truck with our puppy, our puppy dog, our puppy dog. <clears throat> and we're gonna, um, end up going up to those uh old foundations uh used to be there used to be some uh, big mining operations out here um they actually used to like dredge through here uh, back in the day um so we'll see what we can find maybe we'll find some old mining equipment or something like that um but oakley is living his best life out here he is excited because um, he has free reign. He doesn't have to be on his leash. Um, he listens so good. So um, they're not requiring him to be on his leash and he's having fun. He's having a blast. So like I said, we're gonna head over to those foundations um, and see what we can find over there. So I'll catch you guys in a few. All right guys, um, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. This is an old foundation here. Um, kind of cool <clears throat> um in here it's like this old little shaft there's an old refrigerator door right there but there's this shaft that they cut in here and this is like this rock is so old it's like cemented in here by all the pressure and everything from the ground above so these tunnels are very very durable very strong um, somebody apparently was changing their, their baby in here because there's some Huggies wipes. Um, <clears throat> but then you got this little skylight thing. I have no idea what this was for. Um, the only thing that I can think of, um, by like looking at the way that this is like charred almost. And you can see, it's like got this, this layer of char to it. Um, I think that they used this as like a, a burn house. Um, they would fill this with lumber and, um, you had your vents, a vent there and a vent there to vent the fire. Um, and they were using that to like maybe smelt their gold. Um, <clears throat> that's all I can really think of, of why it's set up like that um but and then we get out here and there's more of the foundation and everything going on here so we're gonna come up top here and metal detect for a minute so <clears throat> i will get back with you guys here in a little bit if we get any hits I didn't even like end the video for like two seconds before I got hit. Grab our pocket shovel out. And it's like a metal rubber grommet thing. 
that's what we found. So, <clears throat> just another thing to add to the collection of stuff that we found out here. And uh, we're gonna mess around a little more. So, I got a collection of nails. <laughs> um, they were just sitting on the surface. Uh, but this is down in that hole that we looked up through earlier. Oakley, you stay, don't jump in there. It's gonna hurt. So, I'm gonna metal detect a little bit more and uh, and we're gonna head back to the um, the RV um, and get our prospecting equipment for um, the rest of the day. Yeah, that was just no, maybe not. Well, well let's dig it. All we can do is dig it. Get our carrot out. stuff everywhere. Oh. Nail. Uh -huh. We've got 95,000 of those out here. Um, Alright. There we go. Alright, so there's this. I'm going to take you guys off so I can put the hold the GoPro down there for a minute and not drop it but this looks like maybe it was a water tank or something um, people just throw all kinds of trash and stuff in here which is not cool um, but I'm assuming that this was something that they would store water in it's a good good thought for while they were working up here so yeah guys um, I have no idea I mean it's it's also weird because it's got this like smokestacky thing here. So I have no idea what this was. Um, but still cool. Still cool um, area. And, you know, we're also looking at that. Um, so the views are awesome. Um, the metal detecting has been fun. Uh, but like I said, we're going to be wrapping up here um, pretty shortly and heading back to the RV. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab our prospecting equipment for the day um, and go out and do um, our dry washing. So our dry washer is already at its spot. We're ready for that. Um, we just gotta grab some shovels and some other things um, that we put back at the um, RV every night. So be back with you guys soon. All right, guys, we're doing a little bit of exploring. Um, I wanted to see <clears throat> where this uh, trail kind of went. Um, it looks like it goes up this mountain. And before I go back um, to the RV for lunch and all that stuff, I figured I would check this spot out since I was out here and see what we got. So um, I know my windshield is kind of super very dirty, but um, I put you guys up there. Ooh, wash out. This little truck is going to have some fun. Um, yeah, I figured I would go check this out um, and maybe see if I can find another spot for us to run the metal detector for a little bit. Um, it's just one of those things, guys. You know, you're when you're out in an area and you... You see something that might look promising, you um, you try to see what you can do. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Don't high center. Okay, good. Um, so, yeah, just uh, out on the trails. It's it's beautiful to be out here. It's fun to be out here. Um, you know, you never know if you're gonna find yourself. Um, a mine cut into a uh, a mountaintop. Um, 
it uh there's a lot of them around here um there's a couple um that i'm gonna go to later tonight um not for uh the purpose of like metal detecting or anything um because there's a lot of like trash and stuff that people have thrown out around there um but i am going to go and get you guys some uh some footage of what these um these mines look like and kind of explain it a little more in depth um and that's actually going to be a separate video from today's video um I'm actually thinking with the amount of content that I have right now um, that we're gonna make two separate videos out of the metal detecting versus the um, the gold prospecting um, because there's just I'm, I'm here until Monday so I have plenty of time there's gonna be a lot of this content over the next um, few days especially because we go to Quartzsite Arizona next so all right, guys, um, I'm going to end this little shenanigans um, here, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we find.